happened. I'll fill you in first. Need antiseptic and bandages if you have them. Okay, first aid kit. Set up a guest room. Wait, go, what? I'm go. sorry. Excuse me. What the hell is going on, and why is this our problem? What happened? I was walking on the docks. Yeah. As minding my own business, I, I came upon this woman, a blonde woman, a Russian accent. She was, she was talking on her phone about some a kidnapped baby and a, and a explosion plot went wrong. She saw me. She pulled a knife. She tried to kill me. I was fighting her off when, when Patrick had the very good idea to, to wander through. Thank you very much. By the way. Do you see the woman? No, my attention was on her. Okay, so let me understand this. You found Olivia stabbed, and your first instinct was to bring her here, not a hospital? I don't know. I tried to get to the hospital, Olivia insisted. Okay. <sighs> not that I mind, but I'm just curious. Any particular reason, Olivia? My son. Understand what does Dante have to do with any of this, Olivia? I really don't pay attention to you. What? What was I so upset about the last time the Russians put me in the hospital, huh? Don't strain yourself. My son. The same holds true, you know. If he found out that I got stabbed, the kid would flip in the next week. All right, and so would Connie, and you know it. She'd get all high-handed and bossy. She'd she'd be calling Dante. She'd have me here in 2.2 seconds, and you know it. They'd both be hovering, worrying. I can't have that right now, especially since the doc and I are in agreement here. I, I'm going to be fine, right, doc? I examined you in less than ideal conditions. I do need a better look. Oh, you know, I'm sure that Max and Milo would be happy to take both of you over to Kate's. What? It's right across the lawn. Olivia just said she doesn't want Kate to know about okay. this. Look, okay. I know that this is a terrible inconvenience. Okay, I don't intend to put either one of you out. All I need is a quiet place. Patrick here can stitch me up. I'll be on my way. No, no. You know what? You're going to stay as long as you need to stay. Get our guests upstairs. Patrick, do you need anything from me? Max, keep talking to me about yeah, anything. Sure. What? Show me where you met us. Come on. Uh, uh, okay. Hi. You sounded frantic. What's going on? I'm sorry, I didn't realize you had to bring in. Oh, no, it's fine. We're already out. What's up? I uh, had it out with Maxie about Spinelli. Serious miscalculation. You had it out? As in, what, issued an ultimatum? I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, Maxie is just as stubborn as I am. Where did I think it would go? Okay, let me guess. You dug in your heels saying something obnoxious like, my house, my rules, and then Maxie called your bluff? If I didn't know any better, I'd swear you'd been there. I don't know why you're so hard on poor Spinelli. Poor Spinelli? Yes. Uh, he is a sweetheart. Did you know that he made bird, little bird seed bundles with me and Maxie for my wedding? Not Patrick, Spinelli. Patrick couldn't get out of here fast enough. And you can't deny that he is a really good friend to Maxie. I mean, he'd take a bullet for her. Yeah. That's right. My point exactly. You know, that scenario is not far-fetched, Robin. Look, Spinelli is Jason Morgan's personal hacker. He's a criminal by association at the very least. He's a target and a social misfit. I mean, why would Maxie get involved with a loser like that anyway? He's not a loser, and we appear to be very off topic. So what is it that you want from me? Stop Maxie from moving out. reinforcements but it's not going to work because I'm moving out and there's nothing either of you can do to change my mind how about this um, I was wrong to give you an ultimatum you're an adult okay you're entitled to choose your own friends it won't be easy I'll try to keep my opinions to myself agree to disagree you don't have to leave Mac I love you and I really do understand why you were concerned, but this isn't about Spinelli anymore. I mean, it's more about me. I think it's time that I stand on my own. What's the deal with Olivia? She lost some blood. If she was at the hospital, I'd have her hooked up to an IV, but she's not in shock. Good. There's only surface wound. I cleaned it and stitched it. She'll be fine. I appreciate what you've done, uh, finding Olivia, bringing her here like she wanted. But I think we've imposed on you enough 
I got a, I got a, I got a private doctor who I'm going to call. No, He'll come every Sonny, day. no. Olivia's my patient. I don't want anybody I don't know taking care of her. Good enough. How's uh, fatherhood treating you? Getting the hang of it. And Robin? It's a process. She'll adjust. Look, I gotta go. Is there any other questions you have? Yeah, actually, um, I just need your professional opinion. Do you think I should call Olivia's son and tell him that his mother's hurt? It's not up to me to offer an opinion on how you deal with Olivia's family. No, I know that, but it's, it's more about how, how dealing with Olivia. I mean, I don't know if you know, but we go way back. Uh, she's always been the same, mouthy, tough, master of her own universe, right or wrong. I mean, she's like a cat. No matter how much pain she's in, she's not going to admit to it. One time she, she fell, right, on her ass, broke her elbow, didn't go to the hospital. Went to work. Father didn't even know. In enormous amount of pain. Unreasonably stubborn. I can identify that trait. What I'm trying to say is, it, it, you know, if she's in more pain than she's letting on, do I have to notify her son? Maybe she needs to be with her son. Maybe he needs to be with her. So are you telling me professional opinion? She's fine. Olivia's fine. There's no medical pressing matter to alarm her family. But she was obviously a victim tonight. Now maybe her son deserves to know that. Ultimately, it's Olivia's decision. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Thank you. Yeah. Patrick. Give my love to Robin. Oh, yes, please do. Let her know that we're married now and we're accepting well wishes.